you were there, the start of hip life, yes. when it all started. Yeah. The vision that you guys saw for hip life, is that what it is now? Um, <clears throat> I'm not somebody who has <laughs> vision. I mean, how can you, tell me this? you know, I, I have intuition. Okay. That's what I create with, with intuition and um, just being connected to things and, and, um, and being observant, you know? Right. So for me, when I got the chance to work with Reggie, mm -hmm. it was just a, an opportunity for me to really be in the same space with the person who blew my mind the most as a, as a teenager. Mm -hmm. And this is this guy who's now saying, no, man, so I want you to write music together. I want you to produce for me. It's like, wow. So I wasn't really thinking about, you know, when you're in it, you don't think about, okay, this is where it could go. But yeah. after I released my first album, uh, Republic, with the, mm -hmm. you know, song with VIP and mm -hmm. so on and so forth, I quickly realized that if I don't do something proactive, I will kind of plateau very quickly, you know? Mm. And so I kind of had my siblings help me to buy some coins <laughs> and, you know, travel to kind of educate myself a little. Yeah, and learn more about you know music creation and, mm. and mm. engineering and how to make it sustainable. Okay, for me because that's something that is very difficult to have as a creative in these parts mm. to have a career that you can say you've grown within and through the years. Mm. You've developed and learned different things and that makes you relevant and right. not desperate. You mm. know, because you know when you look at our greats and people who are great some people who even inspired us they've had really difficult lives you know i mean we just lost kk kabobo a few months ago and yeah. that was one of the most heartbreaking things for me because a few months before that he was on, on radio talking about hardship and yeah. this is like an age-old story for all our creatives so exactly you know exactly. I, I just really had to find things that i could do on the side remain creative but not necessarily in the front line or you know in the limelight mm. but still i enjoy thoroughly Mm. You know, and that's really what I... I so when, when you look at how hip life, as it was, currently is, now what they call it, Afrobeat? I tried to avoid the question, you brought me back. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> I mean, when, when you look at it now, what do you make of it? It's two sides. I mean, it's, it's grown. It's, mm -hmm. you know, Nigerians got involved and it grew exponentially. Right. It's a worldwide phenomenon, mm -hmm. which is great. Mm -hmm. People are making money of it. People are making a living out of it. Once again, it's about sustainability and yeah. integrity in, in creating music. Because that's the only way you can make the music stay. Right. So I don't want a situation where we are being pawned and we are just being used because it's the cool thing and then we get discarded. Mm. So that's the thing that I fear. And when, as Ghanaians, we look at how immense this thing can be, we mm -hmm. can also be driven to just want to go in that direction and not create. Create our own good, stuff. Yeah, and create good stuff, you yeah. know. It's, that's, so that's what I'm worried about, and I'm, I'm more concerned about build, being able to build an are, industry. Are you seeing that? Losing the quality in terms of the originality of our a music? A little sound. bit, a little bit, a little bit, mm. a little bit. But I, I don't want to knock creatives. I don't want to criticize yeah. creatives because I know how difficult it is, and I know why sometimes we all want to make the same thing because that'd be what they pop. You see what I mean? Exactly. And exactly. everybody wants a way out. Mm -hmm. So it's hard for you to see the thing where they pop and be like, oh, you know what, I'm going to make some complicated some deep, deep music and because mm -hmm. blah, blah, it's privileged kind of things, you know? Yeah. So yeah. it's a struggle, but I just, things are changing. Uh, but do the structures support people? There's no structure. What structure? <laughs> there's no structure. At all? Ah, no structure. Mm. I, no, there's no structure. I don't think so. There's just entrepreneurs. Everybody's really trying really hard you know, to make it work in this industry. Mm -hmm. Everybody's an independent person, mm. seeking help from friends, family, uh, investors, and so on and so forth. But there's no real structure that, yeah. you know, really supports creatives. I'm not even talking about musicians, but generally, you know, real dance schools, proper um, media houses that are uh, schools that teach, you know, uh, um, filmmaking in, mm -hmm. a, in a really top level um, music schools that are teaching music engineering, um, uh, computer um, science, because yeah. it's all, you know, it, it all adds up. Mm. So when I talk about industry, that's what I mean, like building a real foundation that supports the creative arts, because, mm. you know, it's, it's So, so now we, people are just chasing the money. Whatever will bring money yeah, yeah, quickly. Yeah, and I, I'm not it. complaining. Yeah. I, it's just the way things are, mm. you know. Mm. We're all just, yeah, scrambling.